YouTube viewers and random DC fans, today we'll be reviewing this, which is the 12-inch Shazam figure from Mattel, and here it is in its packaging. Along the bottom half, you can see the movie logo as well as the figure in an action pose. While below this, we see some symbols, the name of the figure, and the True Movies logo. The window display only shows the top half of the figure as it is quite small. However, the side gives us a graphic of the posable joints the figure has, along with more pictures of action poses. The back offers little else, just another image of the figure, a ton of legal guff, and another figure figure available in the range. So that does it for the box, let's say the word and review the figure itself. And here we have Shazam, and it's basically a plastic toy purely designed for kids to play with. It's extremely lightweight and does feel very brittle and hollow. The head sculpt does have a decent bit of detail to it and looks very much like Zachary Levy, but has that cheap plastic sheen despite the great paint apps on the eyes and eyebrows. The hair has been sculpted really well with the various strands and brush strokes moulded sharply. The torso looks very messy, with the chest piece a little soft in places and some paint bleeding where the yellow meets the gold. The overall design is good, with muscle tone clearly visible, as well as that pattern which covers the suit, but from a distance it just adds to that weak moulded plastic look. And even the red used seems very desaturated and lifeless. The joints across the suit, which are meant to be a part of the outfit, haven't been given enough definition and as a result look like the joints in plastic as a result of bad moulding rather than on purpose. The golden gauntlets likewise lack any proper definition, while both hands are in clenched fists and feature a decent amount of detail on each one. The belt features the zigzag designs on each side, but it's the same old story as it just looks very basic. On the back you can see the white cape which is held at the top via sculpted plastic, but the cape itself is made from soft cloth and is made up of two separate sections. It's great to see the cape made from cloth as kids can run around pretending the figure is flying with the cape catching in the wind, but it does look somewhat like toilet paper. Rounding off the detail, the tops of the legs don't offer much, while the golden boots have been given some great detail, but lack any paint apps to give them definition. While on the soles, we get... nothing? Wait, nothing? No legal guff? Oh my god, it's a miracle! It... Oh, oh wait, no, there it is. They're right there on the backs of the legs. Oh well... Turning to articulation, the head can do the full 360 degree exorcist twist and somewhat not up and down and from side to side. The arms have a full 360 on the shoulder and can rise out to 90 degrees. There is a full 360 on the elbow, which can pivot in to 90 degrees as well, while both hands offer a full 360 on the wrists. The legs kick out to 90 degrees and also move out to the sides, allowing the figure to do the splits. And finally, we get a 90 degree bend on the knee. So a decent amount of articulation for a very cheaply made figure. And finally, doing a size comparison, Shazam towers over the 6-inch figures from the DC range, but is in the same scale as a Hot Toys figure, putting him in at around 12 inches in height. So, overall, what do I think of this figure? And obviously, we've drafted your bad self in to discuss it. I think it's very, very cheap, but good effort. Yeah, like, like they've got the face sculpt really dead on. Yeah, I'm really liking the face sculpt. The only thing that kind of puts me off about it is it's got that plasticky sheen to it. Mm. Aren't these like the same ones? Remember the ones that came out but they're just like a solid figure of no art creation? Yeah, I hate those. They're, they're all in the same style of packaging. Like yeah. you see Star Wars ones, you've seen yeah, ones yeah. for like is the Marvel the same, figures saying, and is stuff. It, is it the same company but they've kind of went, no, we'll, we'll, we'll make one. I think Yeah, I think it's Mattel, yeah. Yeah. The one thing I wish it did have, I know if we're, if we're talking about it, features, I'd love lights. to have an LED just yeah. there. Really, when you think about it, lights and signs is what's missing from this figure the most. Because, as you were saying, like the chest plate should light up. Mm. Even, it looks like there's spots on the belt. Like, if you look at the, the little lightning yeah. zigzags on the belt, it looks like they should light up red. Yes, I know, it's not a collectible, it's not a figure that you put up on display or whatever. The reason why I wanted to review this is because it's been a while since I've reviewed something that's just for kids. Yeah. And I think this is just for kids. Mm. So whenever I review something like that, there's specific things I look for. One, does it look enough like the character? Mm. Yes. Two, is the detail good? It's alright. Third of all, is it durable enough? And to me, it, it feels quite hollow, it. but... Yeah, it feels it like you can take a couple, couple of good of knocks. Because obviously with superhero figures, the first thing kids are going to do is go, BAH! Yeah, and then yeah, like yeah. smack it into a wall or something. for damage, like I can take a couple of good hits. Yeah, like I mean, even the joints and stuff on the arms. Really, really sturdy. They feel nice and strong too. The only thing I could see coming off this is the cape. That's the first thing yeah. to go. The cape does kind of look like toilet paper. 
Yes, it's very, very cheap fabric. It's, yeah, it's very, very loose. So. Yeah. Although I do love they did it in two sections. Yeah, like one's more thinner and the other one, the top part seems to be more of a thicker material. Yeah. But I like that too because, like, as I mentioned in the review, like, you can have kids going, you and have, it's little have it caught in the yeah, wind, yeah. you know? Like, I think that's pretty badass. Do you know, it genuinely is a real throwback figure. It feels like something you and I would get as kids. Yes, I kind of recall there was figures like that. Like there was like a Power Rangers figure that was, there was very similar Power to Power Rangers figures. Yes, not even the articulation. I think is fantastic. Yeah, no, the articulation. Like you can really, really like you can put them in some really great poses and stuff. I do like the fact that the box shows you that look, you can do this. You yeah, like here's that. all the joints and all the articulation and stuff. Yeah, do you know what it's really, really remind me of? Do you know that Turbo Man figure I reviewed last year? Yes! I was sitting there going, it I have recognised this! But like, it's so similar, like look at the colours on it and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's fairly sturdy, it stands really well. The legal guff is hidden nicely. Ah. There's no legal guff on the back. It's actually part of the uh, design of the suit. If you really don't look at it... You it, can barely see it. it. Just, yeah. That camouflage isn't... That's clever. I yeah. like that. No, in all fairness, I really do love this figure. I love the fact it got the, the actors face really really well done yeah if you look carefully like look at the paint apps on the eyes and on the eyebrows they're yeah, done really well they put good the, effort into it the sculpting is good mm. i i actually do believe the sculpting is great all over the figure it's just there's no paint apps to give it any depth look at the wow factor yeah like, and mm. i know for a fact there's a million and one customizers out there yeah who will go out and buy something like this because i think we got this for about what like 13 pounds so yeah, like yeah, there are fun. customers out there who will buy something cheap like this and carefully painstakingly repaint it sure it's the same with uh, the bb8 remember the, the the one the sound effect wanted to be arm pops out yeah yeah there was a guy on youtube that actually went out and weathered it down and made it look like from the movie like it's like this is what you can do and yeah, yeah modders will do this but no, i think that that is something that like this is definitely a candidate for something like that yeah and the fact is there's a lot of empty space to put led lights and stuff into there is yeah i think it it is quite hollow. Yeah, there's a lot of room in there. The plastic can. does feel a little bit fragile in places. Again, another thing I noticed too, no screw holes. <sighs> it's witchcraft. I think it's just all glued together. Oh, you think it's all like... Yeah, because like, like you can see like the seams run yeah, down the sides yeah. and stuff. And then another thing that bothers me too is that the suit itself has seams, which they have replicated on this. It looks like it's plastic moulding that's been put together. It doesn't look like it's uh, supposed to be part of the suit. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I looked at it close up, I was like, oh, hang on a minute. This, this is supposed to be part of the costume. Because I was sitting, like, you know, writing the review going, oh, God, this looks so bad. But then, like, on closer inspection, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, actually, hang on. That's part of the suit, Stephen. Mm. You know? <laughs> but, you I mean, like, even, wolfed. like, look at the boots. You know, you've got the lightning bolts on the boots and stuff. I appreciate it, like... I wanted to review something from Shazam. Yes. Because I really like the look of the movie. I haven't seen it yet oh, as of this it. video. Um, I've seen trailers and stuff. It looks really fun. I'm so, so hyped. I wanted to go out and get something to review to commemorate the movie coming out. Yes. And this is the, literally the only thing the toy shop had. Yeah. Was it this. It really was. Like, because I'm, you know me by now, I'm a big fan of the six inch figures. Yes. I like the smaller ones that have like tons of articulation, great detail, maybe a couple of accessories. And this is the only thing they had. Just literally one figure, no accessories, no features. When we were in the in the, the toy store, you did go to me. Is it? Do, do you think we should do it? Do you think? I was like, yeah. Look, it, it was the box yeah. that sold it for me. When I seen that it had all this like tar uh, articulation, I was like, oh my god, this is this is good. Like, give it a yeah. go. Like, have it have a bit of fun with it. Yeah, I mean, as a basic kids toy, yeah, yes. I, I would recommend it. For kids as well, if you want to bash the living daylights out of this thing, it can take a beating. Tradition! <laughs> it survived! <laughs> no, I, I think it's, it is solely a kid's toy. Oh, I, it is, it is. I think it's very, very cheap. It's cheerful. It does its job. Could have used lights and sounds. Yes. Where? Points. Bah! No, you did it wrong. It has to fly off. Oh, well. Kill the box. And... No! <laughs> you killed it! That's the movie. Saxon came out of nowhere. It's ruined. Bye! It.